This video tutorial is about inserting pictures into a Keynote presentation that we've already started. So we, we did a basics of Keynote tutorial that helped you get one started with text and slides. Now we're going to add pictures to those. So first we need to find our pictures. We'll do that by going to the internet, Firefox or Safari, whatever you want to use. We'll go to Google search box and type in our keyword. But this is giving us web pages. We want images. So we're going to go up here to the image button. When we find a picture that we like, we're going to click on that picture and that brings up a bigger version of it. And we can take that image then and drag it over to iPhoto in our dock. And you want to make sure you see the word iPhoto pop up. And that's going to make iPhoto bounce. It's going to import it. If you get something like this, you can just say don't import. All right, so there we get our picture into our iPhoto program. And I'm going to continue to collect pictures from Google Images in exactly that way until I have all the pictures in iPhoto that I want. Now I'm ready to put those pictures into my Keynote presentation that I've already started. So I have mine saved right here on the desktop. So I'm going to open up my Keynote presentation. And I'm going to go to the first place I want a picture. Now to get my pictures, I'm going to open up this media button up here at the top. And I can switch it over to photos. And this is showing my iPhotos library. You can see pictures of teachers in here. I'm sure they appreciate that. Um, so I'm going to go to events. And I should be able to find my pictures somewhere within this event. It kind of depends on how you have things set up on your iPhoto. So I'm going to open up this event which has got all of my pictures in it that I want to use. And I'm going to pick which one I want to put on this slide. I want to use this picture. So when I find the one I want, I'm going to drag it to where the picture is. And you're going to see that it's cutting off the picture. So now I'm going to show you how to fix that. We're going to click on here and we need to edit the mask. So I'm going to click that button that says edit mask. And then I can drag the edges of this so that it's showing me the whole picture. I might need to click out here and make the picture a little bit smaller. I'm just going to keep dragging things around until I get it to all match up just the way I want it to. And this, this takes a little bit of practice. So it's going to take you a little fumbling around with your pictures until you get them just right. Once I have it just the way I want it, I can drag the whole thing and I can drag my text around too so that I can see everything I want to see on this slide. So I'm just going to continue doing that with each of my slides. I'm going to go to my next slide. I'm going to go to my media browser. I'm going to find the picture that I want, Red Planet, and I'm going to drag it over there. If you don't like how it's cutting off parts of it, you click on the picture, edit the mask, and we can drag the edges so that we can see everything we want to see. Then we'll just click someplace else to get the editing off of there and then we can drag around the picture as we want to. We can drag around our text box as well. Now we're going to continue to do that with all of our slides but let me show you quick how to add a transition between your slides. I'm going to put the same transition for all of my slides so I'm going to go over here and select my first slide and then hold my shift key and select all of my slides because I want them all to transition in the same way. Then I'm going to go to Inspector, this little blue circle with an eye. Go to the second button and choose an effect. That's the one I want. Now all of my slides will transition in that way. Good luck with your keynote presentation. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll make a new tutorial for you.